Hi guys, my name is Matt, the creator of the Cam Dolly, and in this video I'm going to show you how the Cam Dolly can be assembled as a slider. For the slider option, you don't need any extension legs, you only take the core piece of the Cam Dolly and you attach the tracking wheels. Obviously, you have two types of, ex uh, of, of tracking wheels one with extending option and uh, a pair with extending option and a pair without the extending option. I recommend that you first attach the pair without the extending option. These are attached with two screws and they fit perfectly as everything else. Once you've actually pinpointed the, the, the thread the screw goes in very smoothly. On the other side, you will attach the tracking wheel assemblies that have the extending option. However, for our track ends and for this particular assembly as a slider, you will not need the extending option. We've designed it in the way that the tracking wheels, although they do have the extending option attached, you will just use them as the same as the tracking wheels on the other side. That means the you'll attach them directly on top of the actual tracking wheels. Because no extending is needed since the tracks are exact same width apart on all sides, on both sides, on all parts. Now that the dolly is assembled as a slider, and you saw this took a minute and a half and no more, maybe two minutes, you obviously attached your favorite video hat that you removed from your tripod. I've designed it in the way that the position is very low, so you, you're, you're able to get a very low shot if you want. Next step, the slider is now fully assembled along with the video head. Next step is to take the track ends The track, ends, uh, the track ends are a phenomenal design all by themselves. They're improved version of anything that's out there. Um, I decided that I want to give you as much options as possible. Therefore, I've inserted a, a leveling screw on each side. You can either remove it and have the um, and have the tracks on the very ground, or if the surface on the ground or the ground itself is uneven, you can even it with the with the leveling screws. Therefore, the track will be slightly off the ground, just as it is in this particular assembly. As you can see, if you put the track ends upside down and you lay them on the ground, you can lay them on the ground. You can, like I said, you can level it or remove the level screws and you can have it directly on the ground. But this is not perfect uh, configuration since the pipes are you that are used are too long uh, and made out of aluminum and therefore they bent just ever so slightly in the middle however it's it's not noticeable at all now if you don't want to lay it on the ground 
or support it with something else you can definitely support it with whatever standard tripod the c stands that you can that you have uh, in your arsenal of tools or you can use even a regular light stand that you can buy for 20 30 bucks in any home depot or home improvement store the track ants are designed to fit all of them you just position your two uh, your two um, stands on each side you turn your track with track hands the other way and you put the the inserts in each stand Now, here I have used a tool to have this perfectly leveled, although it doesn't, you, you don't actually need a tool. All you have to do is actually put on a slider and you'll see if it's dragged on one or other side and you just level it. No tools are ba basically required. However, if you want to have that perfect level, you might need a tool. Now the slider comes on. After the slider comes on, I will do some fine tuning with the pipes. Well, you've just seen how I leveled it without any tools. Now the pipes, the, the track ends, uh, the pipes in the track ends are attached, are fixed with two screws, one on each side for each track. And you can fine tune it, fine tune the position by changing the depth that you screw the, the, the screws in on each side. You fine tune it depending on how uh, big of diameter pipes you're using. That way the wheels assemblies fit perfectly uh, and they roll extremely smoothly and the shots are just phenomenal. And that's it. The cam dolly as a slider.